Hi, it's Bob Sweeting here with Power Break TV. We're at Barrett Jackson on Sunday morning. Uh, we're here at the Hennessy booth. We saw some very interesting vehicles. Hennessy is known for high performance modifications on new vehicles. We're here with Don Goldman to uh, show us some of his new vehicles. Hi, Bob. Hi, Glad Don. you guys came by. Yeah. This is our new Grand Sport with the upgrades. Start out with a factory stock Grand Sport convertible, automatic, and we supercharged it. Heads cam, headers, and it's 700 horsepower, 636 to the wheels, and it's a lot of fun. We are able to give a customer Z06 performance with having a convertible and automatic. So there's there ZR1 performance. Uh, very close, very close. See, I have a 91 ZR1 myself. Oh, really? Yeah, it's, in fact, I have 250,000 miles on it. That's fantastic. Driven it that, I just love that car. You have to bring it and let us take a look at it. Oh. Well, it's, yeah, it, it belongs in a museum now. With that many miles, I don't think there's any ZR1s that many miles on it. No. But, you know, I, like on this particular deal, who wants to pay $120,000 for a ZR1? Mm -hmm. So this is the answer. Most of the paddle shift cars had like 270 gears in them. Correct. When we've left it stock, the customer that owns this car that we built, he wanted to have the, da the daily drivability that the factory stock Grand Sport offers. He just wanted to have a little more oomph to take the test and tune at the drag strip on the weekends. So it's 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 the stock gear ratio in this car. Oh, yeah. So now the paddle shift's not affected by vacuum issues at all. It's all computer controlled. Right. So it still shifts hard. It's just when you would tell it to. Because I'm a Corvette guy. I've had ten of them myself. So. <laughs> We love them, and with the Edelbrock supercharger that's on here, we're able to retain the factory hood, so it right. retains a stock appearance. And you have a sleeper at 700 horsepower. I like it. Have you done any upgrades on the suspension? The suspension is the factory suspension. We have done some wheels with the factory rubber to give it a little bit more look and a little different look than from the factory stock. How's the traction? That much horsepower? It's difficult, <laughs> but there's plenty of fun. This is a brand new 2012 Ford Raptor. Uh, we've had it about three weeks. We wanted to have a unique look for the show here at Barrett Jackson, and we put a flat, a matte black vinyl wrap on it. What's unique about this truck is we've cranked up the horsepower over 130 to the wheels by putting a brand new Roush supercharger on it, and it's actually the first one that's available on the 6.2 Ford. And of course, we're back to the vacuum issue. So we're trying to get Roush interested in our hydroboost system as part of supercharging and big tires and faster vehicles. Well, this truck, this has the stock factory tires and wheels on it, which for Ford is very progressive and it's very hip and looks great. But what we have here is the brand new supercharger that we're able to get Roush to specifically make for the new 6.2. It yeah. is the first valley mounted supercharger yeah. that's available uh, for the Ford Raptor 6.2. And they're going to be marketed as Hennessy Performance powered by Roush, which we're very excited about the co branding. This supercharger gets a 608 horsepower at the crank, right about 500 horsepower to the wheels on 91 octane. The other thing that was done is we've designed an intercooler that's mounted very low through the lower, the lower bumper fascia, so we're not impeding the airflow through the radiator, so the truck is not going to run warmer. So on the off-road applications, the truck is performing and running at a cooler temperature, giving you better horsepower and performance even in the heat of the day, even in a place like Arizona, where we are now. On my ZR1, when I first bought it, uh, GM had sold the executive of, um, I think it's U-Haul, headquartered in Phoenix, and he bought a new ZR1 and the car had no power. And I told him about a trick that I'd actually done with showing the Gold Strand, where I took the hot water out of the um, bottle body. Bypass it because that tells the computer to retard and clean it down. So by taking that and cooling that off, the power came back. So, so I was a hero of General Motors by saving the e haul account. That's so, fantastic. Yeah, they did it the next day too, and they reported because of the heat of Arizona, the motor had no power. So, we fight the heat soak issue on everything that we force and duct, especially on turbo applications because it gets so hot. Yeah, the exhaust gets hot. Pulls the timing and slows it down. So we're real excited with this setup where we planned ahead for the heat, the heat zone, and the performance will be guaranteed to remain as high as possible. Change the thermostat too. Cool yes, down. we run a 160 degree thermostat. All right. Anything on the suspension? The suspension is the Fox factory that Ford puts on, and the tires and wheels, of course, are the new 2012 wheels, Ford design, and 
They're fantastic. And as I said, this has a vinyl, three on vinyl wrap, three mil. I noticed, uh, which I haven't seen before in a Ford, is six lux. It was new in 2011. Oh, wow. It's, uh, you know, having worked on so many Broncos, <laughs> you know, the five lux thing, you know, my contention in brakes is anything with five lux is a passenger car brake. Mm -hmm. So it's a passenger car vehicle only with tall tires and the six lug setup increases the load and carrying capacity and braking capacity across the board. Well, Ford has certainly built a fantastic off-road vehicle. It's also a great daily driver, has the suspension, so it's comfortable like a sedan. And we're just excited to wake it up a little bit, make it a little bit more fun to drive. Tell us about the Mustang. This, this is a real beauty here. There's a new Boss 302 Laguna Seca edition that we've warmed up a little bit, 700 horsepower at the crank, 636 horsepower to the wheels, a lot of fun, exhaust cutouts. What we've done here, Bob, is we've removed the factory intake and put a Roush supercharger on to force and duck the engine. And of course, we had to remove the factory's shock tower brace and fabricate our own shock tower brace to keep the suspension alignment where it needs to be. And this has just been a tremendous product, and this car is awfully fast. Uh, did, uh, did the Mustang come with the twin throttle board? No, that was something that we added with yeah. the with the uh, supercharger. Yeah, I can see that's uh, that's an improvement there. And uh, of course, we're always looking at our brake issues here. Mm -hmm. so I'm kind of measuring this up to see if there's room for a hydro boost. I want to do a Mustang and a Corvette with our brake system. In fact, Bondurant's interested in that. Corvette, trying to hyperboost on that, so that would be fun. Yeah, we built quite a lot of these. We'd love to sit down and work one out. We could work a project on that. That would be fantastic. You'll see this starting yeah. in the week after next on a Top Gear USA commercial. Um, Tanner, Tanner and, and crew are out there, and we were very fortunate in uh, El Toro a few weeks ago to be able to share this car with the Make-A-Wish Foundation and make a young man's dream come true, an 11-year-old and Tanner and Fowles took them out for a, a drifting a drifting session, which is fantastic. I never saw a young man smile so much. <laughs> Since it was for charity, did you get to write off the new tires that you had to buy then <laughs> after? No, that was our contribution. Well, you guys do fantastic work. So, uh, what is your website? It's www.hennessyperformance.com.